Hello again guys, so I have actually made the template expense sheet available in this link. So you copy this and paste it on your browser. So you will see the expense sheet is now available to you. And let me try reloading this, something went wrong. Okay, so you can see there are a couple of people can see this, uh, including me, um, can see this expense sheet. What you can do is, first of all, you need to make a copy of it and give it a name let's say let's say um, template or my own expense sheet my expense sheet and make a copy and store it in your drive so once you have it stored in your drive you can go to your drive and see your this is the one that you have just copied and you can see that it is this one is a template which is visible to many other people including myself and this one is the one you have just uh, copied it locally on your drive and you can see the permissions here that it is only visible to the person uh, uh, for the only be visible to you this is my another email account for my uh, the tool that i have developed with the name davisim anyway so it is restricted uh, nobody has an access to this one so you can make sure that it is only available to you. So next thing is, this is the expense sheet, um, the web interface. You can click on this, sorry, it opens in another browser. So if you copy and just click it here, and there is, so because it's a web browser, you can um, use it on from your computer and you can also use it from your phone. Now, what I wanted to tell you is that that you have to copy this ID. The ID of the Google Sheet is automatically generated by Google and it lies between this a forward slash after D and this forward slash before added. So you copy it and save it somewhere. And whenever you want to add the expenses, you can just provide this sheet um, ID you can select the type of expense you want to make and let's say this is again stop and shop or whatever and then click on the add expense and it should go into your this sheet and you can see here it is already added into your expense sheet and since it is protected only you have an access to this so i also have the code available which is present under apps script it is uh, you can always modify the code you can always modify the sheet and everything is in front of you it is completely secure the only thing is that first of all whenever you uh, make a copy and when you try to access this web interface it will say that um, my, my name my email address has some big is trying to access to access the data on your google sheet and that's uh, this is what it is asking actually asking for to ask the permission to write this data whatever you are writing here um, into your own google sheet and you need to allow this expenses into your google sheet okay that's it all right thank you very much and that's it